Hello everyone, my name is Chloe and welcome to Storytime with the Met. We hope that you'll join us every Thursday for a new story, songs, and for making and art activities. Before we get started with today's book, we're gonna sit in a comfy spot. I'm sitting on my couch, but you can sit on the floor, in a chair, on your bed, wherever you feel comfortable. And we're gonna get started with our story time song. Our story time song goes nice and slow to the tune of this old man. And we'll get started on the count of three. Can you hold up three fingers? Ready? One, two, three. Welcome friends, get ready, get set for story time with the Met, where we love to read and sing and look at works of art and picture books. We'll use our eyes to look and see. We'll use our ears to hear stories. Now we'll take a seat and give a shh. Let's begin with our first book. Yay, round of applause, friends. Great job singing along with today's song. You know it by heart by now. Today we're going to be reading a very special book called Storyboat. The words are by Kaya McClear and the pictures are by Rasheen Kareye. What do we see on the cover of this book? We see two children sitting in a teacup that is also a sailboat. And they have a cat with them. And here's a butterfly and some fish and a bird. And they're sailing away. I'm gonna read the words, but I'll need your help looking at the pictures. Storyboat. Here we are. These are our two friends from the very beginning of the book, and they are walking in a forest with what seems like their family. What's that? Well, here is just here. And their family is walking again, and it looks like it's bad weather. You see clouds and a little bit of rain. Their family had to flee their home and now they're looking for a new one. Or here. And we have our friends standing on this tiny hill clutching their book. They look very excited. Here is a cup, old and fine, warm as a hug. Every morning as things keep changing, we sit wherever we are and sip, 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 sippy, sip, sip. Ah, from this cup. They're both, they're all drinking, even the cat, out of these big warm cups. It looks like tea and they're staying warm and feeling comforted by their tea. And this cup, is a home. Where's the cup now? It's here and our friends are inside of it. Here is a blanket, patterned and soft, color of apricots. Every night when the world feels not quite cozy and everyone seems weary from hoping and hurrying, we snuggle and dream under this blanket. Here is our apricot covered blanket and our two friends are all snuggled up asleep. And this is their mom and their baby sibling. And they're all warm and cozy under their blanket. And this blanket is a sail. So the blanket has turned into the sail and the cup has turned into the bottom of a boat. Here isn't always the same. They're all moving and keeping moving. Sometimes it's here just for a moment. Here 
is a lamp, big and bright, powered by the sun. Every evening as the sky grows dark, we read and write and wonder what will we be by the light of this lamp. And here is the lamp and our two friends reading and writing and wondering and dreaming. And this lamp is a lighthouse. Here is the lamp at the top of this lighthouse. And here are our friends in their cup sailboat with their blanket sail. Here is a song that everyone can sing. And here is the moon and a million sparkling stars. You see their whole family is singing and dancing underneath the moon and the stars. Even though they don't know what's coming next, they still have each other and their blankets and their cups and their lights and their songs. Here is a flower, bold and sweet, wild and welcoming. Every day when the weather is nice or gray and stormy, we wonder where will we be who will we meet as we sit in the field with these flowers? Here are our flowers. And this character is painting her flowers while her little brother runs off and chases a butterfly. And this flower is a ladder. Look, they've added their flower to their boat so they can climb all the way to the top and see Look out into the sea. Here is our journey that holds the warmth of a cup, the softness of a blanket, the brightness of a lamp, the strength of a flower, and the openness of a story. Here are our friends and their family, and they're getting into this raft to go off to a new safe home. Every week we dream and draw, make and play, search for treasure, find our way, and grow and wait and wait and wait, adding words to this story. They're drawing a picture of their boat that's made of their cup and their blanket and their flowers, and even the cat's getting in on it and is drawing a mouse. And this story is a boat. And all of their family is in their teacup boat that they have drawn going toward their lamp lighthouse. Here we are. And they have made it finally to a new home. Here, the end. And you see our teacup up in the sky in the shape of stars. The end. Thank you all for reading with me, friends. You did such a great job looking at the pictures today. I love this book because it made me think of all the things that we can think about that remind us of home, that are comforting, even when things are scary, or new or changing, or even if we aren't near our homes or our families. For our characters in the book, it was a cup, a lamp, a blanket, flowers, even songs that their family would sing together and look at the stars together. Those were all comforting to them. And it made me think about the objects in the Mets collection that would also be comforting. The first thing that I thought about was this quilt that was made around 1877 by Tamar Horton Harris North. It's called a crazy patterned quilt and it has all of these beautiful colors and patterns that all come together to make a beautiful blanket like you might use on your bed or your couch to stay warm or just to feel comforted. Before we leave today, I want you to think about the things that make you feel safe and comforted. What reminds you of home? It could be a friend or a song that you love to sing, a blanket or a pillow or a stuffed animal. Do you have something in mind? For me, I always think about my teddy bear 
and I've had my bear for a really long time and no matter when things get scary or hard or are changing, I always know that I have this little bit of home to take with me. Thank you all so much for joining me today. It was such a pleasure as always to read with you and to sing with you. And I hope you have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye.